Welcome to Musician's Corner. I'm Andrew Phillips. Today we're actually here at the Johnson Victrola Museum here in downtown Delaware and uh, Dover. So uh, we're checking out this cool museum. Goes hand in hand with, with music, obviously, with his invention with the Victrola and record players. So just checking out this awesome history. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you are ever in the Dover, Delaware area, I'd highly recommend visiting this museum. If you're into sound and recording and music and just understanding more of the history, it's a very cool museum to come to. It's located at 375 South New Street in the historic part of Dover, Delaware. This museum focuses pretty much on the achievements of the founder, who is Mr. Eldridge Reeves Johnson, pictured here. He was more reserved than your Thomas Edison and Bell, so he's not known as well as they are, but he is very well known for Victor Records, as is seen there. He was also the founder of the Victor Talking Machine Company, and known as just being a pioneer in the development of the sound recording industry. Um, he's also known for the Victrolas at Victor Records, which were, that was all bought out later by RCA down the line, but in the early 1900s, he was very well known with his achievements and inventions and everything contributing to that industry. Eldridge Johnson was born on February 6th, 1867 in Wilmington, Delaware and he died on November 14, 1945 in Morristown, New Jersey. During his time, he founded the Victor Talking Machine Company in 1901 and built it into a major phonograph and record company. In addition to that, he also founded several record labels like the Victor Talking Machine Company's record label, RCA Records, as well as some of their other music groups. In 1896, at only 29 years old, Eldridge started in this little 20 by 40 foot workshop located in Camden, New Jersey. It was in this building that he invented the spring mechanism that made recorded music possible the way that it is now keeping the sound consistent. And it was also in this building on August 10th, 1897, that he got his first contract with Berliner to build the phonograph motors. By October 1924, his factory complex in New Jersey had grown to this huge 58-acre complex containing 31 buildings and over 2.5 million square feet of floor space. Victor Talking Machine Company was one of the first manufacturers to switch over to wartime production at the outbreak of World War I. In addition to that, the company also was responsible for helping manufacture rifle components and biplane wings for the military. And although resources were limited, Victor continued to provide records and players to its audiences on the home front and abroad with records ranging from music to French first aid tutorials. Victor Sound Engineers also recorded the first sounds of war but never released the master to the public due to the horrific sounds heard from the battle. The famous trademark dog was based off of a painting created in England using the real dog by the name of Nipper who modeled for that painting in 1898. That painting would be titled His Master's Voice. The original artist had presented this to the Edison Bell Company of New Jersey thinking they may find it useful, but at that time they offered a reply saying dogs don't listen to phonographs and turned it down. On May 31st, 1899, he then presented it to the Gramophone Company, and after making some requested changes to the painting, they agreed to take it on, and that became one of the most successful trademarks used by the Victor Company and other labels, including the current one, Radio Corporation of America, known as RCA. This trademark would become one of the most popular trademarks in history. 
In 1909, the Victor Company released the Vernus Martin series, which featured gold leaf cabinets with hand painted artwork that could be custom ordered. Victor also offered a wide variety of custom art cases that could be ordered and hand painted on any of their cabinets. Very cool stuff in here. Very, very cool history for anyone who's interested in music, things like that. Definitely, definitely highly recommended. Okay, well that pretty much wraps up this brief video here visiting the Johnson Victrola Museum in historic downtown Dover, Delaware. If you're into music, recording, records, all that history, very awesome stuff, very informative. They have a lot on display. Highly recommend coming here. You can Google it, check it out. You do need to make a reservation though. It's all by appointment only. Please send me any questions, comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel as I'm constantly posting content. I'll see you next time.